Step 3. Advanced Elements Reservation Techniques In this step, we delve deeper into more advanced reservation techniques, including using Find and Select criteria, as well as the Project Regions options, such as Story Ranges, in conjunction with Element Reservations. We will also talk about how the online and offline status of teammates affects the ability to make reservations. Meanwhile, we will continue developing the construction documentation of the project working with doors, windows, and zones. Let's start to find out more about the online and offline status of team members. The online and offline status is displayed both on the status bar and at the top of the teamwork palette. It is also displayed in the Users panel of the Teamwork palette. The online and offline status of each user is shown with its icon in front of the name of each user. When the user is online, the icon is displayed normally. When the user is offline, the icon is grayed. When a team member is online, it means that this user is connected to the BIM server, and you can make reservations. Let's see how this works. Right-click the online message in the status bar and check the Work Offline toggle. Now the ARCHICAD Teamwork project that's currently open will switch to a so-called offline state. This means that there will be no connection to the BIM server. Notice that the online and offline status of the current user has changed. Please notice also that all buttons have become grayed in the Teamwork palette as well. Select any non-reserved element, now indicated in light gray, and right-click it to bring up the context menu. You will notice that reservation commands do not even appear in the context menu when you are in offline mode. Users in offline mode can't make any reservations in the Teamwork project. Such a scenario might happen when, for instance, a team member is working on a laptop on an airplane or on a remote computer with no network or internet connection. Such a team member does not have a continuous network connection to the BIM server. Being in the offline mode, however, does not mean that you have to stop your work. You can work on your already reserved elements and can create any new elements in the project. Right-click the Work Offline message in the status bar and uncheck the Work Offline toggle. Within a couple of seconds, the ARCHICAD Teamwork project will switch to the online status. The connection with the BIM server is re-established, and all Teamwork palette buttons are enabled as well. Let's now explore some advanced reservation techniques. Press the Escape key to deselect any selected elements. Double-click to activate the 3.3.1 Find and Select 1 preset view located in the Chapter 3 folder of the Navigator view map. Activate the Show Reservation by Users option in the Colored Workspaces panel of the Teamwork palette. Click the right pointing arrow at the right of the Reserve button and select the Reserve Elements option from the appearing list. This brings up the Reserve Elements dialog. Here you can create complex criteria to define which elements to reserve. The Project Region panel lists the available regions where elements will be reserved. Currently, the ground floor is shown on the list. This means the reservation will be performed only on the elements of this floor. The Criteria panel enables you to use complex criteria for the element selection. The criteria can be defined at the Advanced Find and Select dialog of ARCHICAD. Click the Cancel button to leave this dialog. Activate the Find and Select option from the Edit menu to open the Find and Select palette. Notice that this palette is similar to the Criteria panel of the Reserve Elements dialog we discussed earlier. There are two ways to reserve elements that meet specific criteria. You can use both the Find and Select palette or the Criteria panel of the Reserve Elements dialog. Let's see some examples of both ways. Click the Criteria Set Name List field in the Find and Select palette. 
and select the Toilet Doors 2100mm option from the Public Criteria Sets part of the drop-down list. These entries in the list are saved criteria sets. The criteria set is loaded to the Find and Select palette. As you can see, we will select doors, the name of which is D1 and their height is 2100 millimeters. These are the doors that were placed in the toilet areas. Click to activate the Marquee tool from the toolbox. Make sure that the single floor selection method is selected. Draw a rectangular marquee by clicking at the point of label 1.1 and then at the point of label 1.2 to define the two opposite corners of the marquee rectangle. Notice that the marquee item has been automatically added to the criteria list of the Find and Select palette. Select the Outside Entirely option for the marquee because we want to select only those doors which are outside of the marquee rectangle. Click the plus button in the Find and Select palette to select all elements in the project matching all criteria in the list. All the doors in the toilet blocks of both wings will be selected. Click the Reserve button in the Teamwork palette to reserve the selected elements. Notice that the selection hotspots of the doors change as they become reserved. Please notice that in cases of doors and windows, only their containing walls will be reserved. Close the Find and Select palette, and then click the Door Settings dialog button in the info box to open the Door Settings dialog. In the Preview and Positioning panel, Select the Shaded Axonometry Preview option. You can now see how these doors look in 3D. We will replace the door panels for all the selected doors in one step. Open the Internal Door Settings panel and select the Door Panel option from the list. Click to select Style 1 from the panel list below. Notice that the 3D preview of the door is automatically updated with the new panel style. Click OK to accept these changes. All the panels of the selected doors are now updated. Click the Escape key twice. First, the doors will be deselected, and then the selection marquee will be removed. Now let's see how to use the Reserve Element dialog to reserve elements meeting specific criteria. Double-click to activate the 3.3.2 Reserve Elements 1 preset view located in the Chapter 3 folder of the Navigator view map. In the Teamwork palette, click the right pointing arrow right of the Reserve button and select Reserve Elements from the appearing list. The Reserve Elements dialog appears. Click the Criteria Set Name list and select the Doors, No Elevator, Empty option from the Public Criteria Sets part of the drop-down list. We want to select all interior doors which are not elevator doors or empty door openings. We want to add door markers to these doors for the construction documentation sets. Elevator doors and empty doors do not need markers and these doors should not be included in the selection set. Click the Reserve Elements button. The walls containing doors meeting the criteria will be reserved. Notice that the Colored Workspaces feature gives you feedback on the reserved elements. This is useful since reserving elements will not automatically select them. Let's now open the Find and Select palette. 
Make sure that the doors, no elevator, empty criteria set is selected. Click the plus button to select the elements meeting this criteria. The doors reserved in the previous step are now selected. Click the door settings dialog button in the info box to open the door settings dialog. Open the marker settings panel of the dialog. Select Marker Geometry from the list. Select the Circle in the Marker Shape field. Click on Next to go to the next page of this panel. In the Marker Content 1 ID SIL Dimensions page, check the Show ID checkbox. Finally, click the OK button to apply these changes to the selected doors. All the selected doors have markers displaying their ID similar to the windows. We can use the navigator to make reservations in more than one story in one step. Let's see how this can be done. Close the Find and Select palette. Activate the arrow tool from the toolbox. Press the escape key to deselect the currently selected elements. Switch to the project map in the navigator. Click the third floor under Stories to select it. Hold down the shift key and click the first floor to select all stories between the third floor and the first floor. Now, right-click any of the selected stories and select Reserve Elements from the context menu. The Reserve Elements dialog will open. Notice that the list of stories selected prior to issuing the command are now listed in the Project Region list in the dialog. This means that now all elements on any of these stories, matching the selection criteria, will be reserved. Click the Add button under the Project Region list to add another floor to the list. Make sure that the project map is activated at the Choose Project Region dialog. Click on the ground floor under Stories and click OK to return to the Reserve Elements dialog. Notice that now the ground floor has been added to the project region. Click the Criteria Name list and from the drop-down list, select Windows 2800 mm. We want to reserve all 2800 mm high windows because we want to add a glass divider at the 2300 mm height to match the look of the doors they are placed next to. Click the Reserve Elements button. The colored workspace shows that the walls containing these windows are reserved on all the project regions which we defined earlier in the Reserve Elements dialog. Double-click the first floor in the navigator to go to this story. Open the Find and Select dialog. Make sure that the criteria set name is Windows 2800 mm. Click the plus button to select all windows meeting these criteria. Open the Window Settings dialog by clicking its button in the info box. In the Preview and Positioning panel, select the Shaded Axonometry Preview option. The window is displayed in 3D and you can see that its glazed panel is not divided. Open the Parameters panel of the dialog. Expand the Window Frame Parameter Container and select the Upper Transom Parameter from the list. Check its checkbox to enable it. Enter 180 for the value of the Upper Transom Height Parameter and enter 2300 for the value of the Height of Upper Horizontal Divisions Parameter.
Notice that the 3D preview of the window has been automatically updated. Click the OK button to accept these modifications and to apply these to all the selected windows instantly. Close the Find and Select palette. Press the Escape key to deselect the currently selected elements. Open the view map in the navigator. Double click to activate the 3.3.3 door window transom preset view located in the Chapter 3 folder. Switch back to the All with Original Color option in the Colored Workspaces field of the Teamwork palette to display the 3D view of the elements using their original color. This shows you one example of a door and window pair with a transom now set for both. The window now has a transom at the same height as the door. Double click to activate the 3.3.4 Zones 1 preset view located in the Chapter 3 folder of the Navigator view map. Let's now see how we can reserve elements in the 3D window of ARCHICAD. The obvious advantage of making reservations in the 3D window is that elements from all stories can be reserved and then immediately selected to make the necessary modifications. Activate the Zone tool in the toolbox. Select the Edit, Select All Zones command to select all zones in the 3D window. Select the Reserve Selected Elements command from the Teamwork menu to reserve all the selected zones. With all zones still selected, open the Zone Settings dialog by clicking its button in the info box. Display the Zone Stamp panel. Enter 2 mm for the value of the text height field. Also enter 2 mm for the value of the font size for details field. Check the Show Frame option in the parameter list to display frames for the zone stamps. In the Order group of parameters, find the fifth parameter and select the ceiling height from the pop-up list. Click OK to accept changes. Press the Escape key to deselect the currently selected elements. Double click to activate the 3.3.5 Zones 2 preset view located in the Chapter 3 folder of the Navigator view map to see the current state of the project on the floor plan.